What is TinyDB? TinyDB is App Inventor's database. It's a way to store data permanently on the device that you can retrieve when your app starts up. It doesn't purport to be a full featured database like some others you might have heard of. For example, SQLite is in the Android systems database. MySQL is another example of a database, an open source database. Microsoft has a database. Oracle has a database. There are many, many databases, many of which include SQL in their name. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. This is not something you need to remember. And it provides a very uh, sophisticated programming language for accessing data that are stored in a database. App Inventor is a very simple database compared to SQL databases. In App Inventor, data are stored in tag value pairs, as we're going to see. The tag has to be a string. This is very important. The value associated with the tag can be a number, a string, or a list. Those three types of data. So let's look at an example. Over on the right here, we've got a, a picture of a database. And these are App Inventor blocks that are used to store data in the database and retrieve data from the database. So let's follow this through. If I want to store the name Ralph, this is the value I'm storing, I need to give it a tag. And the tag in this case is the word name, or the string name in upper case. And when, I, when this block fires, it will store the tag and its associated value in the database. And you can think of the database as really a table, a table with two columns, uh, one for tags, one for values, and many rows, however many rows uh, there are for the pieces of data that you've stored in it. When you want to retrieve the name Ralph from the database, what you have to do is fire the get value block. And you need to give it the tag. You need to give it the tag uh, that's associated with the data that you stored in the database. Okay, so if I want Ralph, I need to provide the tag name here. It has to be identical to the tag you used when you stored the data. Notice the default value. This default value is what this block will return if it looks for name and doesn't find it in the database. So it'll return the empty string. Okay? So that's an example of storing a string in the database. And this string that's returned, Ralph, can be assigned to another block or another variable. You can do whatever you want with it. Here's another example where we're going to store a number. In this case, I want to store somebody's score in a game. So my tag is going to be the word score, and the value I'm storing in this case is 90. Notice how a new row in the database is created with the tag score and the value 90. When I want to retrieve the value of the, the person's score, I need to provide this tag, and I would get back, in this case, the value 90, because score is one of the tags in the database. But notice that, in this case, the default value I'm using is a number. I, I want, if, uh, I, if I know that the data stored with this tag is a number, then I should put some default number in here rather than a default string. Then I can use whatever's returned in arithmetic and, and other number blocks. Okay? One final example. Uh, suppose we want to store a whole list, such as we're, we're going to do in our uh, slideshow app. Well, I need to give it a tag. In this case, the tag is my list. It will, an App Inventor will take the entire list and store it in a form that looks something like this in the database. When you want to retrieve it, the same principle applies. You need to provide the tag associated with your data, and you will get back the list that you stored with that tag. And again, notice the default value. In this case, if there is no such list as my list in the database, we want to return the empty list as the default value so that we can continue to use this in list operations. So that's a quick look at the App Inventor TinyDB component, which we're now going to incorporate into our app. But first, uh, let's have a few questions about that.